हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट गाइस एज वी ऑल नो एस टी पी मीन्स स्पैनिंग थ्री प्रोटोकॉल इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन स्विचिंग एंड रिसेंटली वन ऑफ माई पेड स्टूडेंट रिसीव वन क्वेश्चन इन इंटरव्यू फ्रॉम स्पैनिंग थ्री प्रोटोकॉल फ्रॉम एस टी पी एंड ही टोल्ड मी टू मेक वन वीडियो ऑन इट यू नो वॉट इज द क्वेश्चन गाइज क्वेश्चन इज दिस इंटरव्यू आज टू हिम how you can protect your root bridge switch in stp network let's say in your network there are multiple switches let's say 10 number of switches there are some distribution layer switches are there and some uh, access layer switches are there right so in this scenario in your network how many option you have to protect your root bridge switch right let's say as you know all ports of root bridge switch are what guys dp designated port right so root bridge switch always transmit the bpdo but if a attacker will configure lower priority on their switch and if they will attach to root bridge switch right or if a attacker will send a bpdo with lower bridge id to root bridge now your root bridge is going to declare their self as non root bridge switch because it is receiving superior bpdo right so how you can secure your root bridge switch what configuration you need to do on root bridge so that no any other switches in the network can become root bridge right so this is question guys this is definitely scenario based question let me do one thing let me first design one scenario on the board and then we will discuss it so let's suppose in my network i am going to design a simple topology because here i am just to make you understand the concept guys how you can protect your root bridge switch okay so let's suppose i have one switch here this is let's say switch 1 and here i have one another switch switch 2 and i have one another switch here let's say this is switch 3 right we have only three switches here in this topology fine switch 1 is connected with switch 2 as well as with switch 3 and switch 2 and switch 3 is are connected with each other let's say this is a link 0/1 this is link 0/2 this is link 0/3 right let's suppose mac address of this switch is 0a mac address of this switch is 0b and mac address of this switch is 0c and guys by default priority on all switches is what 32768 right so here priority is 32768 here also priority is 32768 here also priority is what 32768 right so what will be the bridge id of switch number 1 3 2 7 6 8 0a this is bridge id of switch 1 right what will be the bridge id of switch 2 3 2 7 6 8 0 b in the same way what, what will be the bridge id of switch 3 3 2 7 6 8 0 <laughs> c correct this is bridge id of switch 3 this is bridge id of switch 2 and this one is bridge id of switch 1 right guys initially when these switches will come up all switches will think that i am root bridge so every switch is going to forward their bpdo right to their neighboring switches but on switch number 2 and switch number 3 will receive bpdo from switch number 1 it these switches will came to know that i am not root bridge who is root bridge switch number 1 right because in the bpdo of switch 1 right there will be this bridge id and this bridge id is lower than the bridge id of switch 2 and switch 3 right so now switch 2 and switch 2 3 is clear that root bridge is nothing but switch number 1 right because switch 1 have lower uh, bridge id right so what will be the root bridge id on switch number 1 this one what will be the root bridge id of switch number 3 this one what will be the root bridge id on switch number 1 this one correct so in my scenario switch number 1 is my root bridge switch correct now as you know as you all know all ports of root bridge switch is going to become what dp because dp is the port which will transmit superior bpdo which transmit superior bpdo and root bridge is the only switch which is going to generate superior bpdo so all ports of switch number 1 will become what dp right and this port is receiving superior bpdo so this port will become rp this port will become also rp on this segment one port will become dp and one port will become alternate right we are not going to learn stp now here concern is only this that how to protect switch number 1 see what can we happen here let's say if a attacker will attach their switch here right to let's say your switch number 1 right and if their mac address is let's say 0 d fine if this attacker this is attacker 
right and you know guys don't think like attacker can connect their switch to switch number one only right attacker can be here also right from here also attacker can generate a bpdu for switch number one right superior bpdu okay so let's say here is attacker and this attacker uh, device mac address is 0d base mac address and it have set priority what there zero so what will be the breeze id of attacker switch zero plus zero d right so guys now you can see out of these four switches which switch have lower priority the attacker switch have right and then it is going to send bpdu now switch one will receive bpdu on this interface in, in this interface right and this bpdu is sup superior bpdu getting my point so on guys switch number one this port will become what rp and which switch is going to become root bridge now attacker this switch will become what root bridge now switch number one is going to propagate the bpdu of attacker to switch two and switch number three also now according to switch two and switch three also who is root bridge the attacker switch not switch number one this time getting my point so this is how anyone can attack on the root bridge switch so in this scenario how you will protect your root bridge so guys the feature which we are using to protect root bridge in the spanky protocol is known as root guard that is known as root guard now question is what is root guard so guys in simple word if let's say anyone is asking you what is root guard or interviewer can also ask you to explain root guard so root guard is nothing but a feature in spanky protocol which does not allow a dp port to become rp like here you can see this port this port should be what dp because this switch is my root bridge switch all ports of root bridge switch should be what dp like this port is dp if a attacker will send a superior bpdu to root bridge it will receive on this port right so once it, this port will re receive superior bpdu this port will become what rp right but if you will enable root guard feature over here on this interface then it will not allow a dp port to become what rp right a dp port will be always dp now if root guard is enabled on this interface what i'm saying if a root guard enabled interface receives superior bpdu it will put that interface in root inconsistent state and this inconsistent state is similar like blocking state right so let's say now here this was earlier dp port dp port here we have enabled the root guard feature root guard feature is enabled over here now this time what will happen if attacker will send superior bpdu switch one will receive superior bpdu on this port but this time root guard is enabled over here right so switch one is going to put this interface in inconsistent state inconsistent state and inconsistent state is similar like blocking state so switch is not going to uh, receive any bpdu on this interface and even switch is not going to uh, use this interface to forward data right so a state of this interface will be blocking guys right not forwarding only switch can transmit bpdu switch one right so now if you will enable root guard feature on all the ports of root bridge switch that means no one can no other switch can become root bridge in your topology always switch one will be root bridge in the same way we have multiple uh, protection features guys in spanning tree protocol for different different scenario for different different requirement but today in this video what we understood we understood how to protect root bridge right so protect the root bridge we have a feature in spanning tree protocol that is root guard and now hope it is clear to you scenario is also clear to you and you have one sort explanation as well uh, to explain the root guard in front of interviewer or in front of anyone that's all for today guys if you have learned something from this video please hit on like button if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe this channel let's meet in next video till then stay safe bye bye